Hello, everyone. Uh, let's go ahead and begin our final housekeeping video for this course. Uh, let's go ahead and cover what's on your plate for this week. Uh, so for week eight, what needs to be done this week, we'll cover that. The late assignment policy, uh, everything uh, relative to the Zybook is due by 11.59 p.m. in your time zone uh, on Sunday. Uh, so we'll address that. The feedback grading schedule, when you will you see final grades out on the class portal, my availability during the week, and then from a time management perspective, uh, make sure that you're working throughout the week and not just Sunday night, because if you have a lot on your plate still to complete, there's going to be a limited amount of time and bandwidth to get things done. And then the announcements inside the course, I'll reiterate uh, from a week eight perspective, uh, the challenge and participation video that's out there. So without further ado, we'll get started. So what is due this particular week? Review the module resources. You do have a set of Zide books we talked about last week. Uh, you were more than welcome to start those week seven. So you had a full two weeks to complete them. However, uh, if you have not started week eight, you do have the rest of the week to get that wrapped up before the end of the course. And then submit project two if you have not already done that already. So that was the one that was assigned week seven. You do have until uh, the end of this week, 11.59 p.m. in your time zone to get that in for credit. All right, so as it has been the past uh, weeks, uh, all of the Zybook assignments open the first day of class, remain open uh, for the eight weeks of the course. We'll close out this Sunday, 11.59 p.m. in your time zone. So you have the rest of the week to finish up. Uh, any participation and challenge activities inside the Zybook, full credit. We do have a reflections discussion this week in week eight uh, that will require an initial post by Thursday and two quality responses by Sunday. I believe it's 25 points on that. Uh, that opens up uh, Sunday, 12 a.m. in your time zone, and you have through the rest of the week to get that done. So we'll review that. We look at week eight's module here in the presentation. Just a reminder, anything weeks two through three in the written assignment are past due unless there was an extenuating circumstance that we talked about previously. Those cannot be resubmitted inside the course. And this is the last week to submit the project two. That was the assignment that opened back in week seven. Please take a look at the week seven housekeeping video uh, where I go through the underlying process of completing the assignment, as well as that video that's out there. And again, uh, from an exception perspective, and want to address incompletes. Typically, if it's time management related, it's not grounds for an incomplete or extension. It typically has to be some emergency situation. Please send me an email. We can discuss it accordingly. But uh, time management type of life happens events are not going to be grounds for an incomplete or extension. So you need to make sure you are getting any of the remaining work or milestones inside the class completed. All right, participation and challenge activities, just the first, like the first seven weeks. And again, this week, uh, as you complete those assignments, the scores automatically update inside the class portal gradebook as long as you've clicked on the links that we talked about the previous seven weeks. And again, in this presentation, uh, we'll reiterate what needs to be clicked on from week eight's module to get those scores transfer from the Zybook into the class portal gradebook. So again, I'll point out where that video is located from week eight's perspective here later on in the presentation. Week one and week six discussion forums should already be graded at this point out in the class portal. Week eight, I should have out there, hopefully by Monday morning, the day after class completes, the latest being Tuesday. I will send out an email to everybody when I do have final grades available inside the class portal, and you'll get that notice that they are available. But my goal is by Monday morning, i.e. the day after class completes, to have everything graded and so that you can see the final grade uh, and your, uh, your final assessments inside the course. So uh, as we mentioned before, any of the challenge and participation activities get automatically updated. Weeks two through five's written assignments, those are all graded. Anything from week seven's assignment, and like I said, week eight, uh, those I will grade throughout the week. 
and any remaining submissions I should have graded by Monday morning. Uh, so hopefully no later than Tuesday, two days after the class. My goal is the day after class to have everything graded and ready to go. If during the last week you needed to get a hold of me, email is the best way. You do have the Google phone number. Uh, if we need to set up something via Teams or Zoom, uh, more than willing to do that. Uh, the Sunday, i.e. the last day of class, I will have limited availability during that day. So if you have any last minute questions, I recommend getting those to me no later than Saturday morning. Because uh, uh, from my perspective, uh, I'm not going to be available 10, 10, 30, 11 o'clock Central Time Zone or Eastern Time Zone to answer last minute questions. So if you do have them, please get them to me no later than Saturday. Uh, I may be checking email on Sunday evening, but odds are not. So your, your best probability of getting any type of response is going to be if you get it to me no later than Saturday morning for any questions or concerns. And then last but not least, we've already talked about this before. Please start early in the week. If you have any remaining assignments, don't wait until late Sunday night because everything has to be done and submitted by 11.59 p.m. in your time zone on Sunday night. There's going to be a limited amount of bandwidth. You're waiting until that last day of class to finish everything up. So let's go into the class portal, uh, point out the remaining items we need to address. So the first thing underneath announcements, if you scroll down, all of the house key are the uh, corresponding challenge activity videos. If you need to go back to week one, all the way through, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom here, is week eight's uh, challenge activities that are out there and any participation activity that require an Excel calculation. So you should see that out there. Week eight's Zybook and challenge activity is pretty straightforward. It should not take you a substantial amount of time, but I recommend taking a look at this in terms of the first two sections. The last two sections of the Zybook are uh, kind of some terminology type things that don't require calculations. So on those participation activities, you should be able to get through pretty straightforward on those. But that video is underneath the announcements page for your, uh, for your use and resource. And then if we go underneath learning modules, as soon as it comes up, we'll take a look at week eight. You do have a reflection format uh, forum on this uh, for this particular week. Reflections is talk about uh, these three items. You need to make sure you're addressing what are some practical uses in your own life skills that you've gained through the class. Make sure you address that in the initial post. How's data analysis changing the world around you, including workplaces? Make sure you answer that question. And then how can statistics be persuasive and misleading? i.e., you know, the biases that we've talked about relative to the first few weeks and continuing throughout the course, provide examples of that. Make sure you address all three of those as part of your initial post. And then in your responses, make sure you answer both of the questions on your two quality responses to your peers to make sure you get to full credit. Take a look at the discussion rubric. This is the same one that was used week one and week six, the comprehension component is based upon your initial post. If you've addressed all of the three questions that are listed there, it's gonna be exemplary. If it's the case where you're missing one, it's probably proficient. Two or three of them needs improvement. If you don't do an initial post, obviously it's not evident, no credit on it. Timeliness, if your initial post is there by Thursday, 11.59 p.m. in your time zone, it ends up as proficient. Uh, timeliness is not an exemplary, it's either you made your initial post on by Thursday, 11.59 p.m. in your time zone. If it's one day late, submit it on Friday, it falls into that category. If it's Saturday or beyond, it ends up in that category. Engagement is based off the two quality responses. Both responses addressing both the questions fall there. If it's missing one uh, of the questions that's there, if you're not addressing all of it, it needs improvement. If you don't do two quality responses there, and then the writing mechanics based upon your performance on the writing. If there's any grammar or mechanic issues, if it's uh, perfect or maybe one error, it's exemplary. Two to three is there. If it's really bad, it's there. And then if the assignment's not completed, it's assessed there. So from a rubric perspective, that's what's going on from there. And then just one reminder, we talked about this the previous seven weeks. And again, 
on this one to get the scores transferred for week eight's participation and challenge activity. Both of these need to be clicked. They will not transfer until you've at least clicked on one of these uh, inside the class portal. Folks, I've enjoyed having you inside a class. I wish you the best in your future endeavors. Good luck this week. Reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks.